Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part 12 of the chapter next. We have already done six questions. You can have a look at the previous video. So we'll start with question number seven. A book marked at rupees 880 sold for rupees 770. You have to find the discount percentage. So the MP means the mark price of the book is 880 which is given and the I sold at this one means the selling price of the book is 770. So first thing uh, we cannot find out directly the discount percentage first we have to find out discount. Discount is will be mark price minus the selling price. So this will be 880 minus 770 that is going to be rupees 110. So the discount percentage is the formula for this one. You have to remember discount divided by mark price into 100. So we have the discount is 110 divided by the mark price is 880 into 100. So this will be 101 one za that will be 8 za. So this is going to be 100 divided by 8. So when you divide it, you can just check you divide and see you will get 12.5 percentage. So that is what they have asked the discount percentage. Himesh purchased a sofa set marked at 10,000 at a discount of 15%. If he paid 8.5% sale tax, find the amount he paid for the sofa set. So the mark price is given as that is 10,000. Discount is given as 15%. So we can start with this one if we have to find the amount he paid for the sofa set. So now here, discount percentage, that is the formula is discount divided by mark price into 100. So the discount percentage is given as 15. So in place of this one, we'll write here below this one, 15. So we don't know the discount. The mark price is given as 10,000 and into 100. So these two zeros get cut. So this will go here. So this will be 15 into 100 and that is discount. So that is going to be 1500 is the discount. So now see here they have asked the amount he paid for the sofa set. So price after discount will be what? It was the mark price was 10,000 and the discount is given is 1,500. So the mark, this price after discount is 8,500. 8, so here the sale tax is given as, that is 8.5% sale tax. So 8.5% sale tax on what? That is the 8,500, that is after discount. So we can write here 8.5 we can put here in place of this percentage and we can divide it by 100 into off means multiplied by 8500. So here we can cancel out these two zeros. So that will be now or we can do one thing we can do directly here or we can cancel out these two zeros and uh, we can just multiply this into this one or uh, if we are doing here 8.5 divided by 100 you get 0 0.085 into this one both ways you can do it if you find it difficult for the decimal you can just cancel out these, these two zeros and 85 into 8.5 so you get this is 722.5 that is now so the total amount paid by image is how much is that this is the sale tax so 8,500, which is after discount, and this is the sell tax as well. So 722.5, this one, 0.5 means that will be 50 paise. So that we can write it, that is 922.50 when you add this together. By selling 20 pence, a shopkeeper's gain is equal to the selling price of four pence. So you have to calculate his per gain percentage. So selling price of first one pen let us consider selling price of one pen as x so here we have 20 pence so selling price of 20 pen is going to be 20 x so profit is equal to how much is that is equal to the selling price of so shopkeepers gain means the profit is equal to the selling price of four pence so profit is equal to selling price of four pence so for one pen the selling price is x so for this four pence the selling price is going to be four x so profit is equal to four x so now we will take here profit you because they have asked the gain percentage. So the, that is the profit percentage. So first let us see the profit. So profit is selling price minus cost price. So profit is given this is as 4x. So below this we will write here 4x. And the selling price that is 20x minus this. We don't know what is the cost price. 
so now what will you do here this will be if you bring this minus this will come this side so cross price will be positive 20x is on each side that is the right hand side if you take this on this side that is going to be minus 4x so the cost price is when you subtract this that will be 16x so profit percentage with the formula for this is profit divided by cp that is the cost price into 100 so what did you get the profit here we got the profit as 4x and divided by cost price means 16x and into 100 so this x and x gets cancelled four ones are four fours are and four ones are four twenty fives are so the profit percentage is 25 percent A number is reduced to three fourths of its original value. What is the decrease percentage? So now let us see. We don't know the number, so the let the original number be x. So the new value, what is that? Is reduced to three fourth of its original value. So that will be new value will be three fourth of x. Original value of of its original means we have considered this as x. So that will be three fourth of x. So now we have to see what is the, the decrease percentage. So decrease in volume means how it is from this original, this new value became this 3 by 4 x. So we write a x minus 3 by 4 x. So when you take the LCM of this one, this is going to be 4 x minus 3 x divided by 4. So that will be 1 by 4 x. But we want a yeah, decrease percentage. The formula for the decrease percentage is decrease divided by the original value into 100. So how much is the decrease? Decrease is 1 by 4x. And the original value that is given here as x. So in place of this one, we'll write here x into 100. So this is the numerator and this is the denominator. So now let us take in the denominator like we'll write here 1. So this will get flip over. So 1 by 4x will be as it is. And this will be 1 by x. And this one into 100 the same. X and X gets cancelled. 4 ones are 4, 25 are. So that is going to be the decrease percentage is 25%. Ahana bought an article and sold it at a price 4 by 5 times its cost price. Find a profit or loss percentage. So now let us take, first we don't know the cost price. So the cost price of an article be X. So the selling price uh, and sold it at a price 4 by 5 times its cost price. So selling price is 4 by time, 5 times. That is the cost price we have considered this as x. So 4 by 5, that is the cost price. That will be 4 by 5x. So now, now here, this was 1 and this is 4 by 5 means it is less, means that is a loss. So we have to take the formula for the loss that is the cost price minus the selling price. So x minus 4 by 5x. So now here we will take the LCM that is 5. So 5x minus 4x divided by 5. So what will be that? That is going to be x by 5. But we want a loss percentage. So loss percentage is loss divided by that is the cost price into 100. So loss is how much? That is x by 5. And what we did do? We took the cost price as x. So x is here in place of this one and multiply by 100. So now see, this is the numerator, this is the denominator. So this you have to divide it by one. So this will get flip over. The numerator stays as it is, and this will be, it will get flip over, and that is going to be one by x into this 100. So this x and x gets canceled, five ones are five twenties are. So therefore the loss is 20 percentage. A boy sells 10 pence, for the piece 100, gaining 25%. How many pence did he buy for the piece 120? So now uh, the this one cost price of this one, because his, uh, the selling price is given as 100. So we don't know the cost price. So let us take for the cost price of this, because the selling price of there asked for the 10 pence. So cost price of 10 pence BX. So selling price is given as 100 for 10 pence. So here we have taken 10 because the selling price of 10 pence is given. So now gain is how much is given? That is 25%. So here selling price is what? 100 plus, this is the formula, 100 plus profit percentage divided by 100 into cost price. So the selling price is given as 100. So below this we'll write here 100. 100 plus what is the gain percentage? 25% divided by 100 into the cost prices, that is X. So once you know this formula, other things, uh, they are very easy. So the 100, this will be 125 
divided by 100 into x. So this will be 100. So this will be 1.125 divided by 100 means how will you do? You will see the number of zeros, they are two. So you will write the numerator, the number same as it is, and you will go backwards by two. So that will be 1.25x. So now this 100 divided by 1.25 because this is multiplication is equal to x. So now what will you do here? How to do without a KLC? Now here 1.25 we can write here 125 by 100. So this can be also flipped over here. So that will be 100 will be the numerator as it is. The denominator will get flipped over. That will be 100 by 125. And that is x. So here will be 25 fours are 25 fives are. So five ones are five twenties. And see here, you have to learn the table of 20 and 25 because in many places you will have to say, whenever you have to simplify, you come across that table 20 and 25. So see that you learn the table of 20 and 25. So here, see here. Otherwise you have to go with the smaller number, start with two or three or five, whatever it is. But if you know the 20 and 25 tables, then it is very easy. So this is one of the way. You, to simplify so this will be 80 is equal to that is x and here also we can do one thing instead of writing 1.85 we can keep this as it is so that also saves time so you can do both ways so that will be x is equal to 80 so cost price that is of 10 pence that we are considered x that is 80 and so we want what did they ask here how many pence did he buy for the piece 120 so first we have to see for cost price of one pen. So one pen is 10 is 80. So one pen is going to be, this will be cost multiplied. So 80 divided by 10. So that will be rupees 8. So rupees 8 is equal to one. For rupees 8, we have one pen. So we want for rupees 120. So 120 will be how much? How many pens will we get for 120? So you are going to cross multiply so that will be 120 because wherever there are two numbers means that will go in the numerator and single number will go in the denominator so 120 by 8 and which is 15 8 is 120 that will be rupees here yeah, 15 so we can say therefore he buys 15 so this is um, because this is a number because for how many how many pens are there that is just 15 so we are, they are asking for the number of pence. So we can say he buys 15 pence for rupees 120. If the selling price of 10 articles is the CP of 11 articles, find the gain percentage. So now here what we can do here, let the cost price of one article be X. Because we don't know the cost price. So, so cost price of this one, 11 articles is, what will be that? That will be 11X. Because one article is x, so 11 will be 11x. And then uh, they said if the cost price of 10 articles is the same as the cost price of this one. So selling price of 10 articles will be, because this is 11x, so this also should be 11x. So concentrate on these two sentences now. So now what did they say? What will you do? Find the gain percentage. So what we have to do here, because it is given for 10 articles is 11x. So we have to see first for the one article. So Selling price of one article will be what? This is going to be 11x divided by 10. So now we have, because we wanted the gain percentage, so first thing we should know what is the gain. So gain is selling price minus cost price. So what is the selling price? That is 11x by 10. And cost price, we have considered this as x. So minus x. So this will go here. The LCM is 10. So this will be 11x minus 10x divided by 10. So this will be 11 minus 10. That is going to be just 1. So we can write it x by 10. So the gain is x by 10. So the gain percent of formula is gain divided by CP into 100. So this is here. So what is the gain? That is x by 10. So in place of this gain, we can write it x by 10. And the cost price, we have considered this as x into 100. So now what will you do here? This is the numerator. This is again the denominator. Again and again I'm saying because there are many times like the, whenever you have such type of fractions, many of them make mistake over here. So the numerator x by 10 and this is going to get flip over. So that is going to be 1 by x and multiply by 100. So this and this gets cancelled. 10 ones are 10 tens are. So this is 10%. So the gear was the gain percent which is 10%. 
A shopkeeper sells an article at a gain of 8%. Had it been sold for the piece to 85 less, he would have lost 2%. Find the cost price of an article. So the, let the cost price of an article be X. So they said selling price is a gain of, what is that? 8%. So what will you write here? 1 plus profit percentage into CP. So that will be 1 plus, what is the this one? The gain, this is profit means, that is the gain percent, that is 8% into the CP that is cost price is given as X. So 8% means 8 by 100 into X. So now what will you write here? This will be, so 100 and, or you can do one thing, you can either write here 108 by 100 or directly write here, one plus eight by, eight by 100 means there are two zeros. So write eight and you have to go backwards by two and put a year, so that will be 0 0.08. So anyways, you can do it into X. So when you add this one, that is going to be 1.08 X. So this is the selling price. So now they said here, had it been sold for rupees 285 less, he would have lost 2%. So if sold for rupees 285 less, so this, this is the selling price is 1.08. So now we will see the new selling price. New selling price means this is 1.08 minus this one sold for 285. So minus 285. And then they said the loss is 2 percentage. So new selling price will be how much? 1 minus loss percentage into the cost price. So the loss percentage is given as 2 percentage. 1 minus 2 percentage into cost price is X. So this will be 2 by, for this one we can write here 2 by 100. So when you solve this one, this is going to be 100 minus 2, that is going to be 98. 98 by 100, we can write here this as 0 0.98. So this is what I've written. If you want, you can write here one more step. So 0 0.98x. So new selling price is 0 0.98x. So now we have, this is given, this will form this to this equation, 1.08x minus 285, that is, 0.98x. So this is the this is very important step. So now what will you do? X on one side, 1.08x. If you bring this one minus 0.98x will be this goes on the other side. So that is going to be positive 285. So 1.08 minus here 0.98. So this is going to be 0.10. So 0.10x is going is 285. So x will be 285. This will be divided by 0 0.10. So what will you write here? 285. And this will be for this one, 0 0.10 can be written as 10 divided by 100. So this will be 10 divided by 100. So x is 285 is here. And this will get flip over. So that is going to be 100 by 10. So this and this gets cancelled when you multiply this into this. So this is going to be x is 2850. So what is X? That is the cost price. So we can say therefore the cost price of the article is rupees 2850. So by this one we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe my channel so you get the notification of the other parts. Thank you.